for the best in ProLab products and services, visit aphoto.com. Hi, I'm Suzette Allen. I set up my studio here for a portrait session. I'm doing a business portrait session. I've got my lights and everything all ready to go. And I've also set up my camera using some custom settings. So I wanted to share that with you. I'm using a Lumix GH4, but I also do this with my GH3 and my GX7, but a lot of the cameras have custom setting buttons. And here's what they're for. You can record or you can set up your camera just the way you like it and record all those settings so that you can switch switch between different modes and styles of shooting seamlessly and not have to mess around with the menus. That is great for portraits because you want to establish the rapport with your client and not be messing around with your gear, right? So let me show you how I set up my, uh, my three custom buttons for an in-studio portrait session. So when I set things up for my studio, of course I want to shoot in manual. So I'm going to turn my dial to manual and I want to set everything up for portraits. So first thing I'm going to do is choose my autofocus of face detection. I'm going to set my ISO to about 400 and then my custom white balance. I've already done a custom white balance and I've used number two for the light here in my studio. Now beyond that, I can go into the menus by pressing my menu button and I can set my photo style. Now I like standard and I use minus five noise reduction because I'm gonna do that in Lightroom if it needs it. It seems to do a better job. And then I can set my aspect ratio, my picture size, all these different menus, whatever is exactly what I need for the studio. Now here is how easy it is to program it. Once it's set, I go to the custom wrench and then screen number one of nine and hit custom set menu. And I click one and say, yes, it overwrites it. So easy to program. Now, typically I'll have a black and white version as well in the studio. Now, everything's the same as this first one. So on my dial, I will go to C1 because it's already set up the way I like it and change just the part that I need, which would be black and white. So I'm gonna go up to the right menu. There we go, photo style. And I'm gonna change this to black and white monochrome. Now here's my special recipe, plus three contrast, plus two sharpness and noise reduction down to five and set. So now I've got my black and white version. I go back to the custom wrench, C2, overwrite, yes. Now the third setting I do is for video and I'll usually do one for 1080p and one for 4k, but to do manual exposed video, you have to be in movie mode. So I'm going to go to the movie mode, which is the little picture of the movie with an M that's the creative movie mode. And I've already got everything set up to my custom white balance, 400 ISO. Let's make sure we've got the right autofocus mode. Um, so now I want to make sure that my movie is in manual exposure. So I go to my settings, and here it is. So I can choose any of these. I make sure it's on manual. And for my GH4, I'm gonna choose MP4 with LPCM. That's really good quality audio and high quality video. And then I choose all intra. So there we go. So now that's ready to go. I can just go to the custom wrench, custom set memory, C1, there we go. Now, to do one for 4K, I can just change the settings and program number two. Number three, I usually keep it open for whatever I'm in the mood to use it for. It's, it's like the open one. So if I'm going outdoors, I'm still gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna have different settings. Like I may have something for my flash with outdoors and then one for available light. I might have a black and white one and a color one. Or if I'm shooting an event where part of it's indoors and part of it's outdoors, I can set that up with different kind of lighting and exposure settings. It's such a great way to be able to be flexible, shoot on the fly when you have time constraints and not get caught up in all those little settings. So check this out on your camera and see how easy it is. For the best in ProLab products and services, visit aphoto.com.